Okay, everybody, welcome uh, to another installment of the WordPress how-to. Um, if you haven't seen the first uh, first couple videos of the overview, make sure you watch them and get familiar with uh, the menu layout and where everything is. We've covered that. Um, in this tutorial, we're just going to cover how to update content and change a lot of the nitty-gritty stuff in your site, like the uh, text and the images and video and things like that. So. So let's just log into your dashboard here and we're going to go down to pages and uh, let's just go ahead and we're going to add a new page today so just click add new page and let's say that we're promoting a seminar we're going to go ahead and give the page a good title like seminar seminars and events let's say and um, then we're going to go to here, down here into our content area so let's take a look at some of the pieces of the puzzle we have going on here when you log in you may only see one row of icons here and you'll want to click this one with the colored little buttons on it. This is called the kitchen sink. This is going to bring up more features that uh, you can use for this editing. So that just goes away there. It's just called the kitchen sink. That's one way to look at the site uh, in terms of your content. Also, instead of this tiny window, you can go down here and drag this and make that window bigger so you can see a lot more of your workspace. And also, for those of you who are HTML savvy, if you just click this tab, you can switch to HTML view and just uh, work just in the code. Um, but chances are, if you're watching this, you um, are not going to be doing HTML stuff. So just stick here with the visual tab and, uh, and you'll be fine. So those are just two ways to look at the same content. And uh, most of these you're going to recognize from your basic um, word processing scenario. I just gave a zoom in there. Um, you know, text bold, italic, and strikeout. Uh, bullets and numbering. This button is for block quotes, taking a whole section of content and uh, indenting it. Um, orientation, left, center, right. Um, these are for creating a link to something. Um, this is a, um, that's more of a HTML thing. You don't really need that. Um, spell checker um, for different languages here. Uh, let's see, we got full screen mode, undo, um, this is adding media content, eraser, this is to paste in content from Microsoft Word, and uh, you know, change the color of your text, and then here you've got your different options like, uh, whoa, maybe a little too zoom in there, different options like um, for headings, heading one, two, three, four, this is sort of a web design thing that uh, lets you give the page a, a heading, which is a specific uh, HTML tag that it looks bold, but it also gives web browsers that tells them what your page is about. So let's go ahead and just get started. Let's, um, this is our page title. It's going to show, you know, up here. But let's go ahead and say uh, seminars and events. And we're going to enter a couple times. And now we're going to enter our text. So let's say this summer we have some uh, amazing seminars. Here's some more info. Now I'm going to go over here and just paste in some random lorem ipsum text off of a website, just some placeholder stuff, and I'm going to paste it in here. So here's that stuff. So let's just say you've got a big block of text. This is just Latin. It doesn't mean anything. Um, you can paste it in from a document, and it may look um, all crazy and formatted, or it may look perfect in how you want it. But sometimes when you paste in from somewhere else, you need you may need to erase the formatting by clicking this eraser button alright so it looks looks pretty good I don't think we have any big issues so let's highlight this top title and make it a heading we'll give it heading one so it's nice and bold there and also tells Google what this page is about um, then let's say we've got a really important statement here we'll highlight that and make it bold that's easy and let's say we've got a closing statement here, you know, italics, real easy to do. But let's say we want to insert a picture here. Put your clicker where you want a picture. Right here looks good. And then go up here where it says upload insert. You've got a couple different options. Uh, add an image, add video, add audio, add media, like flash content. So we want an image. Let's just click that. And this window is going to appear that lets us either plug in an image already on our site or add something from our computer. So we're going to upload something right off the computer here. We're going to go down here to uh, let's just let's say our logo. Actually we'll just use this color swoopy thing. Hit select 
Now it's uploading. And here's our image. We're going to call this one swoopy image. And now it's going to ask us some other questions like when you click it, do you want it to go somewhere? We don't want any links, so we're just going to hit none. We don't want it to be clickable. Do we want it aligned left, center, right, or none? We're going to align it left. And what size do we want? Thumbnail, a little square, full size, or medium? We're going to hit medium, but you can also tell it the custom size later on. But let's go ahead and do that. Hit insert into post. And there's our image right there. And if you want to edit it again, if you click it once, two buttons appear. Red is delete, and this button here brings up these options again. And here's you can change the size if you want to shrink it down, if you want to create a link, uh, if you want to have a border to have exact dimensions. That's where you can do it all by clicking that button. So there's our image, and uh, you know if we want to move it, we can move it around or put it wherever we want. So that's how you insert an image.